Hello and welcome. Before leaving Cervantes in December 2016, I formally protested ABC Regional Radio's misleading interpretation of a pre-recorded interview I did with them pertaining to Midwest community opposition to fracking. Their selectively edited, cherry-picked, version of the interview gave the totally false impression that the anti-fracking Cervantes and Durian Bay communities conducted deficient township surveys and were generally accepting of the eco-terrorism, the chemical warfare of ecocidal fracking. This distorted version of the interview was entirely untrue because I'd clearly articulated that unfailingly ruinous fracking is emphatically rejected and refused social license by an overwhelming community majority. Such partisan reporting typifies mainstream media. It's become the cornerstone method of their institutionalized technique of perception management. They subsequently wouldn't answer numerous emails, respond to written letters or return phone calls, whereupon the Iron Curtain of mainstream media's censorship by omission descended with absolute finality. Listeners were entirely misled. Non-conforming viewpoints, environmental concerns and anti-fracking opinions are blocked by information gatekeepers in disregard of supportive evidence and corroborated witness testimony. Calculated censorship while promulgating corporate scripted falsehood reshapes and essentially fabricates all media content. Overarching perception management commandeers and usurps every aspect of truthful news and current affairs reporting, whereby information control and manipulation have been the accepted norm for many decades. I've previously reported the prime example of the US Smithsonian Institute micromanaging 150 years of important discoveries, citing countless findings of giant fully intact skeletons, perfectly preserved giant skulls and giant bone collections, all mistakenly and regrettably entrusted to this duplicitous institution. All bones and evidential materials are covertly secreted away and thereafter denied all knowledge of. Giant's remains have been uncovered throughout the world but are forever clandestinely appropriated by unidentified covert operatives and quickly deleted from the historical record. Innumerable books and documentaries testify to this evidence, suppression, exposing a sinister, far-reaching and deeply disturbing falsification of human history. Universities, schools and unconscionably corrupt media portray the Egyptian pyramids being impossibly built by stone-dragging slave labour to function as tombs for pharaohs. This demonstrable nonsense is taught even though no evidence exists to even remotely suggest, let alone verify, such a ridiculous assumption. No mummy has ever been found inside a pyramid, yet the patently absurd fiction of pyramid tombs is taught in all schools as historic fact. This indefensible lie underscores and exemplifies a purposefully manufactured version of human history. To understand how and possibly why this massive deception has been accomplished, I strongly recommend the brilliant Sylvie Ivanova's New Earth YouTube channel and her excellent website megaliths.org. Sylvie's outstanding and thoroughly compelling body of work richly complements an ever-growing cadre of genuine scholars and researchers exposing establishment deceit. Most especially the massive lie of recorded human history. The systemic fraud of mainstream science sees all scientific disciplines reduced to dogmatic bias, bias, whereby any critically thinking independent researcher challenging the establishment script gets immediately ostracised into career oblivion. Evidence of one or more prehistoric highly advanced lost civilizations exists in a burgeoning abundance of similarly styled megalithic structures and out of place artifacts discovered on every continent. Here again, mainstream archaeology is constrained by an unbending censorship regime that demands ignoring proof, misrepresenting fact and obediently following the establishment party line of hardcore deception. 
This control especially applies to medicine wherein the most perilous endeavor is to discover or invent a natural cancer cure posing a threat to pharmaceutical drug revenues. Incalculable wealth is generated by deliberately not curing, but instead carefully maintaining sickness and disease with the use of toxic pharmaceuticals. The malevolently monstrous cancer industry generates billions of dollars and won't tolerate cheap and effective natural cures, derailing their super lucrative gravy train. Naturopathic and holistic do doctors are being systematically murdered to maintain the wholesale mass slaughter of prescription drugs and torturously ineffective cancer treatments. This systemic evil can only be upheld by a criminally complicit media continually regurgitating threadbare lies and propaganda. Mainstream media is not only the enemy of truth, but a mortal foe of nature, humanity, of human consciousness, spiritual awareness, and of the planet itself. Those among us who seek to uncover the hidden truth of history are all about establishing a loving and caring connection to one another as the family of humankind, while embracing a deeper and more meaningful connection to nature and to the planet. Conversely, mainstream media is all about spreading fear, separation, promoting endless war, hate, suffering and death. In treasonous abuse of authority, more than 5,200 inventions, many freely providing clean, zero-point, limitless energy, are abruptly stonewalled and terminated at the patenting stage under the false pretense of national security. This profound abundance of universally beneficial inventions undoubtedly exist but are criminally denied to the society in order to perpetuate the socially constricting fraud of debt slavery while needlessly trashing the planet. The reason for this Luciferian abuse of power while distorting, concealing and fabricating human history is to wield totalitarian control over everyone this pivotal information is hidden from. This is globalism. Its malicious machinations extend to a relentless depopulation program ramping up in every continent around the globe. Globalism's hateful geno genocide is fully operational to be exponentially assaulting us all on all fronts. Thank you for watching.